good, everybody. It's your man, Legacy the Prince. I am CEO Aaliyah. And it's your boy, DJ B4E1. Again? <laughs> yes, sir. You always try me. My what bad, is wrong with you? My bad, my bad. Why we got company, man? My bad, my Why we got company? I am C. And it's your boy, DJ B4E1. Dang, can I finish my name? Like, what is going on? Cut it off, yo. We can start over if you no, want. No, we're not. We're leaving that. Yo, y'all ain't embarrassing us in front of company. Like, we ain't do that already for our own selves. <laughs> ain't got no bathroom in here. Hey, you the one, you the one forgot to tell in the back. Then you left somebody uh, at the spot. I didn't do oh, that on yeah, purpose. Yeah, you are supposed to confirm who you're talking <laughs> to, my brother. Man, you know this whole joint been crazy. Nah, this brother. whole day has been crazy, yo. It's we a little super, weird. We're super excited, man. So, um, this, this fresh leftovers after hours. You know what I'm saying? We got some, <laughs> <laughs> we got some, dope, some really, really dope guests in the building that's, you know what I'm saying, actually been out here killing it for the kingdom. Facts. And doing it crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Crazy, crazy big for the kingdom, son. Um, Yo, we got Angie Rose in the building. Yo. Hey, and we got another superstar in the building. Building AI the anomaly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anomaly. <laughs> yes, sir. We are here. Ladies, what's popping? What's what popping? So, first of all, I just want to apologize for. Uh, <laughs> for he left AI at the spot. Wait, can I Lucky. talk, please? I just want to, you got to apologize. Go ahead and get it out. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Hurry My bro's up, bro. not going to be happy about that. You should have left that to yourself. Who? <laughs> you said who? The whole G of the family, bro. <laughs> the whole, that's you what know they're supposed saying, to be coming bro. in two days, bro. You're going to be. Boy, they're going to come first after you. Of, first they of all. They're coming to us now. I, 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 there's, who left who? There's, hold on now. There's several people we can blame for this entire thing, but we're not. <laughs> that's kind of true. All right. So, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and take the hit on this uh my apologies lady it's been a little uh it's been kind of crazy today it's a little different it's a little, a little, just, you know, a little bit different little you know different. what i'm saying it's been just wild you know what i'm saying the devil been just shooting everything down you know what i'm saying a little crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying hit the pipeline outside bathrooms don't he work like, it's crazy, <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's crazy. real crazy that's messed up <laughs> that's no wild. it really is y'all dirty. That's wild yo. every we week we have to make sure we use the bathroom before we come in here it's Boy, wild it's, like it's crazy it's crazy it's real crazy my apologies you know we we don't operate like that on a regular but uh we will air out our own business before people air us out so i just want to say <laughs> yeah. no it's the eight mile rule you know what i'm saying m&m eight mile let the you know they let can't you know so you can't about say you nothing you know what, what i mean saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. ladies what's popping man i'm super excited i'm trying not to fan out um you know what i'm saying because um i'm a fan i'm really a That's fan i'm up. really a supporter of y'all yo for real big old yeah, we great. you know what i'm saying we had an interview with angie uh, a couple weeks back yeah. right you know what i'm saying via zoom great vibe great vibe it yeah. definitely was a great vibe this is this is a little more dope though i ain't gonna hold you for this real is, yeah this is cool in person. yeah yeah, yeah. this is awesome you like you like the vibe you like the vibe i do i that's do y'all up. cool y'all cool, we cool people? <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's good. Just, we just like, we can't leave them no more no, bro, so Dang. it wasn't even me. So somebody in AI, AI camp was like, yo. Ooh. I was yeah, like, yo. She I was said, like, nah, we travel with our camp. We travel with our camp. Do this That's our camp. Well, I don't know who it was. You see the people like, it was. I was she like, got yo. People, hold on. Who, who we got on the side over here? We got. Uh, Shout out to Makisha over there. Holding Shout out to Marlene. I, I, I asked the girl. I was, she was just like, yeah, I'm, girl I'm with asked? them. I was like, okay, cool. She was just like, you know, because um, we was giving asking? instructions to Look, her like, She probably meant like in the faith. Like, she's with us. She's with us. She's with us. We talking to you for a little bit. Don't put that on my sis. There was another part. Uh-uh. I love she it. got my not, back. Not, so yo, it was somebody oh, else. Say that. For sure. For real. So it was somebody else that was there that was Dude. like, yeah. Somebody like, yeah, else. We do sure. not know. Woo, 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 woo. It was in it, but not of it, remain bro. nameless. It was in it, but not of it. I didn't know who that was who. It's fine. It's fine. They're here now. I was trying right. to, we was yeah. trying to, yeah. to, we was trying to right. get the making it a thing. That way it's hit. But well, he back brought up. it back up. All right, we're going to stop talking. So about you made it the thing. That's what I'm saying, bro. Leave it alone, bro. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it alone, y'all. This somebody, did, somebody did say today, though. Somebody different. had bought Brad, what, about three bags of wings up yeah, We there, had though. the wings popping, you know what I'm saying? Wings is somebody fire. Said today, that was crazy. That drunk. lemon pepper. Who was that say today? Look at him, look at him. Yeah, relax, I don't bro. gotta look. I'm humble. I don't, gotta, uh, I don't gotta say nothing. Say you know what I'm saying? Like, say nothing. What's up, Kingdom? Okay. With the Period. dopest headphones out of everybody. Right. Right. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. Got the nails there. She out here. Yeah, she ain't playing. Go. She ain't playing. She got the marshmallow no games. Brains, all that, man. All that. Legacy, you always gotta do the uh, extra. What am I, what am I doing? Because you're talking about marshmallows. I thought it was marshmallows at first. Anyway. All right, we're gonna run past <laughs> that. We're gonna run past that. Yo, man, we got the superstars in the building, man. Yo, y'all in the ATL. is Glistening as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, she, oh yeah. I did all this. Yes. I didn't even see that. She's a definite vibe so, here. So when, mm-hmm. when we when, when she got on, we was like, yo, like what you need? to Feel comfy. You know what I'm saying? She was just like, mm, I need a pink chair. I need a <gasps> dazzle mic. I oh, need that's pink great. Yes. I was like, right, she's cool. like, that's a fact. That's yeah. what I said. That's, that's what I said. If, if I'm the if I'm the queen of the show, when uh, people walk in. Uh, 
They got to know what's up. I don't even got to say nothing. You just be like, oh, yeah. You can Listening. Right yep. That's it. Mm-hmm. She got the pink chair. Yeah, everything. Just, we just, we just we waiting we on done. something else. This back wall this, behind me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this wall behind me. About they hit. don't even know. It's a surprise. They don't even know what I'm about to get crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to figure out really what you're trying to bring up here. Wow. It look like you're going to bring up something. It's gonna be fine. Then they ain't gonna, gonna fit over there. No, it's gonna fit. It's going to wall. It's gonna fit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said that. I'm gonna need like y'all to Brooklyn make space Bridge. up there for her. Oh, you know what? Oh, she the didn't want to sit the up there. The thing okay, got is, you, got you. I don't mind sitting down here. Nice. Because I need to see when they they be talking about me on the show. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I need to see what I'm whoa, looking whoa, whoa, at. So you gotta I start, give them the when side I eye. Back, yeah. When I jump back, I need to see like the banana, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I need to jump back. So yep. I need to see everything right, right. here. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're getting the right spot. Get the ammo. Right, yeah. Crazy, mm-hmm. crazy, crazy, yo. So listen, man, y'all just killed it on stage, yo. No, absolutely. For real. Absolutely blew the roof off the place. Shout out to um City Takers. It was a City Takers event, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Shout out to City Takers. Yo, yeah, yo, it's my first time actually seeing you perform. Both of y'all perform. I've heard a lot. I've been following and just on up. Instagram, seeing everything. And it's one thing when you see an artist on the gram doing their thing, traveling the world, hey. but then when you actually see them in mm-hmm. person and like just the fact that y'all allow God to use y'all in the no, way that you real. do, like, there's such a purity that kind of comes with it, like really flowing and letting the anointing do mm-hmm. his thing you see what i'm saying and it was a lot of lives that was impacted by it you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so i know andrew we got a chance to chop it up with you sure. a couple weeks ago but ai it's a pleasure to have you here yeah. on the show to be in the audience Definitely. for the first time Definitely. yo Definitely. for those people who are you know who live under a rock that might not know tell them a little bit about you y'all. that's okay they can live under that rock from new york right? yeah, they gotta wake from up right. let's Buffalo. go sis you know, she yeah. rock. my she sis not. is a beast <laughs> all right appreciate yo, it no the bars is crazy yeah uh, no, she has a very unique. I was listening to her music. That she has a very unique sound. Man, oh. It's a reason. Serious, it's, thank you. It's a reason why she's with who she's with. Say that. Nah, like I definitely. G-O-M. That's yeah. definitely big old, big old. Shout facts. out to my bros. Brodies. Definitely the you know the the lyricism of the God over money squad. 100. I can see why they was like, yo, we need we her. Need. <laughs> like, yeah, I was trying to keep here. up when ASAP. I was listening to your music. I was like, okay, let me had to pause you. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go back and listen to the rest. I oh, was that's like, what's up. no, for real, for real. I so, like to hear that. With that being said, with your unique sound, I want to know what is your creative process like? Like, do you just wake mm-hmm. up and just be like, okay, God just told me to write this down? Like, what does your creative mm-hmm. process look like? I live, okay. I live life, and I interpret it. I interpret life through music and through some other art, mm. but. Ultimately, I, I'm living and I'm responding to what's happening in my surroundings through lyricism. Okay. You know, and then because I'm I'm a follower of Christ and I follow the precepts and the biblical principles, that stuff is going to come out naturally. My take on life. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to hear that in the music because it's just, it is what it is. Right. It's going to come out. So, and then there's times where it's like, okay, I got to write this verse, like what Angie sent me to the beat for the joint. I was like, all right, I'm on the road, but I got to write this verse for mm-hmm. my sis. I got to make Killed this happen. That verse too. And like hone in and make, you got to make moves and do right. whatever you got to do. So, so it's moments where you just got to sit and, and create. And there's moments where it's like, I'm in my car driving and I got to get the napkin and I got to write it down. Facts. You know, hey. facts. It is what it is. You so know? do you ever get writer's block? Um, uh, do I call it writer's block? I think it's like moments in which. You feel like you have to, if you feel like you got to force it, mm-hmm. that's the moment you have to step back mm. and just live, let it be, and let it come naturally. So I just, I think it's that situation more than like writer's block. I think mm-hmm. it's like, all right. And then I got my ways. Don't let me get nerdy on here, but <laughs> I'm, I'm a teacher. I, I, I got a master's in um, educational technology and then in English. Okay. So whenever you have circumstances where that you makes feel a like lot block. Of sense. Well, you feel yeah, like, <laughs> serious because of that's the music. That's why the bar was the way to say it. I was like, it's technical. Okay. Like, it's, it's not, technical. that's surgical. It's it's surgical, surgical with that pen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not a joke. Like, so there's, there's, um. She be matching sorry. syllables and breaking yeah. it down. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? These are three letters over here. You put these three letters. It's facts. It. Yo, it's like a puzzle. It's a exactly. puzzle, yeah. In moments where you feel like, ah, I don't have anything, there's exercises you can do in order to, you know, get yourself back on point. Like, sit down, look around the room. Items, you got the camera, got the lights, you got the TV. Okay, camera, lights, TV. How do these things connect? Oh, wow. And you write, or sometimes you just write without thinking. Just yeah. keep writing, free flow. 
Mm. And then you go back to that, look at it, and see what you got, you know? But you said something that was really dope, right? You said that um, instead of forcing it, you pull back. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's something that a lot of people mm-hmm. in the industry right now don't do because mm-hmm. they'll still try to force that moment. And then they come mm-hmm. up with some whack bars and then get get mad at Fresh Leftovers when we tell them it's trash. When he mm. tell them it's trash. He mm. Oh, Legacy. so you don't so you don't mm. tell them? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, how'd yeah, y'all right. meet? Man, I, I remember I the know. first time I actually met you in person. It was at... Um, KCA? Shoot. No. No? It was at um, Richie Righteous's church. Get out of here. Had like a a performance there. You was there. He son Lee was there. Oh my goodness. So, man, this is throwback for real. Right. That's in uh That's Queens, no? Mm-hmm. Sheesh. I remember I remember that moment because I'm like, yo, this is fire. Got Angie, got He Son. I look I look up to y'all. So we look, when I saw well, them I look together, up to you. I was like, yo, That's this is crazy. fire being in a in a space or whatever. So it was dope. I rem- I remember that. So yeah, I, got, for sure. I got a question. Um what is it? Before you join God Over Money, like, um, how was it, like, you know, in that process? I know, because I've been following Bizzle's life since the beginning. The beginning, right? The beginning. Me and too. now that's when Bums Walmart came Walmart days. Up. <laughs> <laughs> rapping about explaining being at Walmart. Explaining to do. Explaining to do. <laughs> yeah. That's when, that's the first time I was like, I was like, oh, this dude's serious. And I kept following, following. He joined Willie Moe, and then him and Willie Moe connected, then mm. Bumps. And then that's when I heard... You know, with A Omega Hog Mob, you know, mm. seven in them, and then like he started recruiting and got I mean, it's just like the roster is ridiculous. So what was it like, you know what I'm saying, joining the team of, you know, fellas like that? Was there a pressure? Just, Did you feel nah. a pressure? Nah. See, over the years we built so we okay. brought Biz okay. to Buffalo. We did this um in my city. Uh, my my church, Christ Crusaders Assembly. Shout out to CCA, my pastor, hey. Pastor Stephen Foreman. Um, all all my member, all the members there. Uh, what up? But we would put on these shows because we wanted the Christian community in our city to understand, like, yo, it's some real dope definitely. Christian hip hop artists, and now all like. trash. <laughs> There's so there's a lot of good ones. <laughs> Um, it is what it she is. She said it. Some, oh, some, yeah, of them, yeah. some of them. <laughs> should I say it's good? No, it, it is what it is. No, for real. That's real. That's um, real. But we wanted to bring in some people that we respected. Biz was one of them. We brought him. That was the first time I met him. Um, and then as he started building his roster, obviously, Spitters. We're going to bring them through. Um, shout out to Zadok. He was part of the process. I don't know if y'all know Zadok, the guy hop MC. Um, Shout out to my hubby. He's part of the crew as well. Facts. Josh Cook. Okay. Um, but we brought, we start bringing him in. You know, everybody came through Buffalo. Everybody on a um, label came through Buffalo at some point. Okay. Um, so since then, you say, what, 2016 or whatever? Yeah. I've been building with these dudes. Facts. You know, just, just on some spiritual or just reaching out like especially say that's my brother yeah, y'all, you know? that's that's, up, that's y'all my bro same same state man that's man, crazy that that's my right bro there, bro and then you got dayton so me me say and dayton really you know i'd say those two dudes really took time to like i'll send them music like yo what you think of this because i respect right, their ear right. yeah, yeah. and they'd be like yo this is dope like yo you should try this you should do this and i'd I'll be like yo that's what's up so we built from there, so it wasn't it wasn't nothing when Biz hit me up on that type time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I was like, I mean, I had a million questions because mm-hmm. okay. I got a business I run. Yeah, I'm I'm busy. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I'm like, yo. Yeah. You want me to get? You want me to do this? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm busy. Like I I run a company. I right. got my son. I got my daughter. I'm I'm married. And I do a lot in my community. Facts. Like, that's where my heart is. Yeah. So, you know, all the questions. And, and at the end of the day, to be honest with you, it was more so I believe in the ministry and the mission behind mm-hmm. God Over Money, what it stands for. Right. And I was like, yo, it, it just makes sense. So I'm on a label with a bunch of annoying brothers. <laughs> <laughs> all my big bros. Right. I love them. So, Ange, real quick, right? Do you feel like, um, do you feel like the females... The ladies of Christian hip hop get the love that they supposed to get. Um, I don't really think about it a lot. To be honest, I don't know. You want to take that one? I'm glad she said that because really, like, you probably. I mean, it is okay. I'll say it like this. Let's talk. Let's talk. I get it. I understand Mm -hmm. the situation, but where I come from, 
Yeah. I come from the street. Like, you know, I I I live I dipped in the street street life. My mind is on is in a different realm. I've dealt with a lot of animosity growing up. Okay. Uh, I had to, you know, figure out who's down for me, who's not, and then yeah. I had to figure out how to just be down for me. Mm, yeah. good. So as I grew older, and unfortunately, in some some instances, you can say unfortunately, right. it's that callous. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, and it's not. I'm not saying it's a callous. Like, man, forget this, forget everybody. I'm just gonna do this. It's just this. Like, I'm gonna do what it is that my heart is saying yeah and because like yo ultimately that's god is key in my life yeah. that's where my focus is yeah. mm. my focus ain't about who support me or who not support me yeah, yeah. so if, it is what it is you rock with it you don't yeah. and that's fine because it's so much you can do it's so many things if you i can could choose. add to that i think like something in my heart recently has been like well just be who you want to see mm. you know what i mean like that's wow. why today was special Facts. for me to be like yo can y'all come back up with me like after like yeah. or even just this event in particular like seeing in particular seeing city takers do this type of thing and then being able to be a part and then being like yo can y'all pull back up like even chatting with ai like yo can we work on more music can we get yeah. like invested in what i believe god is doing like i think god recently put in my spirit that like we get to be the esters that build the generation of esters mm. oh, let's go wow. and so like listening to her her set like i was like i was telling her i was emotional because like i think that we could focus on the past or we could build the future. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's like, just that's... be what you want to see. And that's what I think yeah. is happening now. Like, we're seeing a lot more, like, the ladies is, is really about to take over. I feel yeah. like, not take over, no, but like, no, but we, we pulling up, up for sure. Stepping like, we pulling up. Definitely. And especially the caliber, like, y'all, y'all take the, y'all raise the bar heavy. Like, y'all, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's only you got, females I know. <laughs> nah, they, cause I'm, I'm just Seriously. being real. There's a big, like, there's a big gap between the way y'all do ministry with the authenticity, the authenticity that you do it with versus a lot of other, you know, I don't want to just put it in a female category, but a lot of other people that just do it just because. No, but no, but the reason being is because some people are doing things that they're not graced to do. That's good. Go they're continuing that. to do stuff they're not graced to do. Mm. So <clears throat> with that we say, bring me to my next question. What besides music do both of y'all think that y'all are graced to do? Because we're not only graced to do one Same. thing. I know y'all know that. Mm-hmm. Working with young people, yeah. period. I man. saw that on your Unity. page. Yeah. I saw that. That's my whole heart. Like, I could just, I mean, it is what it is. I could literally walk away from music. Oh, wow. And, I mean, I can't stop writing. Mm-hmm. That's just in me. Mm-hmm. All of this, I just, all I want to do, like my students that were here. So, uh, Live to Create, shout out to Amy and Demetrius. Um, I've been working with their students um, like all all last year, virtually. Yeah. And then they took a trip to Buffalo. And I did a two-day residency with them. So, oh, so being able here. to come back and see them. They're physically cool. in Atlanta? Yeah, they live in Atlanta. Oh, awesome. They brought them all the way to Buffalo wow. for a trip. And I, I showed them around my city. That's what brings me joy, yeah. to be able to show them, like, yo, you can utilize art as your voice. That's my heart right there. That's it. But I saw that you also, um, I was reading in your bio, and I saw that how you won, how your business won, like, $10,000. Yeah. How, how was that? You know what I'm saying? To be recognized for the things that you're actually doing. Another thing, you actually pour that back into your community. Like, you're not taking that and like, you know, I'm going to skim a little bit off of this and keep this. Now, you you like really are engulfed in that. Like, for me growing up, that would be perfect. Like, there's not a lot. Like, nowadays, things like that, I don't see it often. Mm-hmm. But what you're doing, like, like... It, how 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 for, for for one how excited were you for that like i was definitely excited that an entity such as citizens bank would notice what i'm doing um mm-hmm. and what's on my heart and to give in that regard and that just opens up the door to continue doing what i'm doing you know right. working with working with youth at the end of the day i'll put it like this ecclesiastes 9 10 what whatever your hands find to do is that thinking I'm getting that on it hitting that on the head go on the bible gateway let me make sure I'm saying it right but yeah. whatever your hands find to do do it with sounds thy right might to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sounds right sounds about right <laughs> do it with thy might and and like in this walk what what is it that you that you love what do you what are you passionate about and is yeah. it beneficial mm-hmm. and if it's beneficial like do that thing with all that you have yeah. you know I love pouring into young people because I was poured into. 
Period. Mm. I was that kid that needed that extra oomph. And I was given that. And because of it, you know, I'm where I am. Period. Yeah. And so I want to do. I want to just keep doing the same thing. How do you encourage young folks to kind of find their passion or find that that lane that they're supposed to be in? Because I know it, it, there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of like, oh, yeah. I want to do this. I want to do that. Or yeah, no that looks like the hottest thing to do right now. Mm-hmm. Like, like the crate challenge, right? Yeah, right? I'm, I'm dead. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, the brick challenge. Like, <laughs> Breaking bone. Right. But like, right. how, you, right. <laughs> how do you how do you encourage young folks? You know, uh, I, I would shoot that Angie way first. How do you like encourage <laughs> the young folks to kind of like? find that passion or like what, what would you yeah. tell them to do i think you know similar to what she was saying that she, she put it really well um what do you love you know what i mean and what are you purpose for i think if you if you give them the thing that fuels them then you don't have to you don't have to fuel them yeah, yeah. they're fueled by their purpose they're fueled by that their identity i think that the best thing you could do for young people is help them to see who they are facts um we had an after school program before the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, but you got another, you got a kid thing too, right? Yeah, we had it. We have it closed right now because of the pandemic and oh, all yeah. this. So that was a lot to navigate. Um, but one of our things, it was called Miss Melinda's Garden. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And yeah, one thing that I would tell um, my counselors all the time is you have to identify the seed so that you can understand how to grow it. You can't mm. treat uh, orange like an apple. Mm-hmm. Like you got to know right. who you're dealing with and you've got to mm-hmm. love them the way that they are designed to be loved so that they can become who they're meant to be. Yeah. Like that's all we really get to do. Like parents, teachers, counselors facilitate growth, but you they gotta be who they are. Facts, facts, facts. So something that really inspired me about you is because I okay, so I'm watching your Instagram and you do these things called coffee with rose. <laughs> Absolutely love them. The reason being is because um, I don't know if you know or not, but I do I do videos on Instagram too. It's called Kingdom Conversations. So. I do those on Instagram, but it's nothing compared to when I either hop on your live or just either go back and watch it. What inspired Coffee with Rose? Um, which the truth is, like that's something I used to say sips coffee a couple years back, like like just on everything. I had shirts, we had all this stuff, and from that point, God was kind of telling me like to to be leaning into this, and I just I was scared, I was like afraid, I was just like that's too much, like I'm gonna be talking in front of everybody all the time, like I don't I, like. <laughs> And just recently, he was like, yo, like, you going to do this or not? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then you just. You about it or not? Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, what? I'm going to lean in. I'm going to do it two days a week. Like, I told my team. I was like, I'm going to just do this. And, like, I think just the first two episodes, like, getting DMs and getting comments that people were like, I don't know who you are. But, like, I'm in my room on my knees accepting oh, Jesus wow. right now. Like, oh, I don't know who you are, awesome. but mom in tears. Mom's hitting me up. I, you know, we didn't even know who you were. My daughter just told me she found you. She's in the bathroom praying. Like, she just uh, texting me. Like, I'm just like, whoa. Like, no, no, no. All right. Like, let's do this. Yeah. So that, That's real. Yeah, it's a blessing. Like, Yo, so you, y'all, like, y'all really, because I know y'all was saying off air that y'all introverts. I don't see it. No, seriously. I don't really see don't. it. Really, don't. especially yeah, especially I, I can't wait for your performance, <laughs> yeah. but especially you on stage, I didn't, I would not get introvert vibes. I think it just I like it's a it's a once they get on stage, it's, it's like a, a sacrifice. It's a away. difference. It's like somebody like, different. They come not like that, but you know what nah, I mean. Like, my heart be going crazy. It, it is stage. a it is a huge huge sacrifice, and it's a giving of myself. Mm. Yeah. Um, I am seriously introverted, like crazy, but. Because I know that the purpose is bigger than me and my introvertedness and all of that. I got to push past it. Okay. It is what it is. There's Because it's my passion and my love is to um, ignite thought and expand perspectives within not only young people, but, you know, young adults. Yeah. I got to do whatever I got to do. Facts. You know, so if I got to push down the introvert, all of that stuff, I got to I got to do that because it's man. But you like a lioness on stage. Sis. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. It's a, like crazy. Nah, you, nah it weird. was. And I see the way you was vibing with the, the ladies. And I mean, that's that's yeah. crazy. It, it, it's. Yeah. Nah, I don't see it. It's, it's, to nah, hear on them, to hear the music, them. but to see it, it's, it's, it's always a different thing. And that's like, OK, yeah, nah, they for real. Yeah, it's it was real. just like. Lioness ain't even like you was you was mm-hmm. going ham like yeah. I'm like yo I don't I'll see introvert going. at all like but you know what where I could say like I can see that or, like not speaking for me that's a weird but like just the depth of the things you say I think that's one of it, the introvert's quality is like we're just we're not it's not that we don't want to talk to you it's just that there's so much happening in here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. so like yeah. when you get on stage it's like there's nobody to really inter- interrupt that process yes. you're saying this, you're saying the things say the and thing. it's just 
Like this is right. like your like that's what I think I, I've started to enjoy about getting it, being able to minister. It's like, yo, I'm just thinking with God out loud. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I feel I like you. Like that. That's, that's, that's it. Dope. That's real. That's it. Because like even that, in practice, real. Kisha. Kisha will tell you when we were practicing and doing rehearsals and stuff like that in certain points I'll be I'll be like Kisha I don't I don't know what I'm gonna say here but I I know what's on my heart and I'm gonna allow God to m- move whatever wherever I need to move so whatever scriptures I'm meditating on whatever it is that's going on or impacting me at that yeah. time I was like so don't worry <laughs> these pockets right here are gonna be led I'm sure yeah. right. cause whatever I'm I got in my in my soul my heart it. yeah. it's gonna come out you know cause I before I get up there man I'm I'm praying that God just open me up like I'm your vessel this is why yeah. I'm here like this is why we we here right yeah. I'm your vessel I wanna be used use me cause I shouldn't even be here so go ahead say that that, that you know is I mean? so true wow. period I know Ange during your set you spoke today about um dealing with suicide and I think that's something that a lot of people deal with silently mm-hmm. um, especially like you know when I was coming up I, I've had my whole my whole entire fallout with that you know what I'm saying and everybody and I'm realizing that there's a lot of young people that's that's been there especially when I talk about it people come and like yo mm-hmm. your legacy you know what I'm saying that's that's something that I felt yeah. or that's something that I've been through you know what I'm saying um, how important is it to to live that truth when it comes to your ministry because mm. a lot of people like hide that you know that area of them in that pocket they right. don't want to speak about their depression they don't want to speak about the yeah. suicide they it don't want to speak about the, the you know the um the vices that they use you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. but how important is it to uh for you all to actually yeah. talk about that man uh i think for me i just like I've, i'm learning it's it's just easier to live at the surface like if you are who you are you never gotta like be nobody else you just are like it allows you room for growth too. It allow and it allows. I think if people, so you get to you get you kind of get almost get used to the fact that like some people are gonna like look up to you. Some people are gonna see you a certain way. So if you can be the one to strip off the makeup, if you yeah. can be the one to to do that, then then you encourage a generation. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's the best way because if if they see you, and it was crazy, is I prayed that, but I didn't know what I was praying. I said, God, can you give me a voice that's worth hearing? Or like, can you get like, get me a, a platform that people end up wanting to see, wanting, wanting to like look up to, but make sure that I can strip it so that they can see the truth of it. Yeah. Like, there's, I just think it's so important to be who you are. Um, people need it. People need who you are, not who you pretend to be. Facts. Like, That's so right. true. Facts. What about you? It's the same. Like, you, you got to be 100%. Yeah. You got to... Give it, a, give it your all. I feel give like it everything the, you have. I feel like the church kind of dropped the ball when it comes to that that realness. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody kind of got a uh, like a like this fake wall up that you got to kind of like fake be in order to kind of get down with the church click. That like, joint will kill you. Over. That joint will, will suffocate you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like go on that, I think go on that, that. false realities. Yo, too. I think For, that's a, a whole like <laughs> spirit. Like if I'm real with you, like I think that's one of the most tactful tactics the enemy has yeah, yeah, yeah. like let me just like get people to be who they not hmm. that was what he, like well whatever that's what he do right <laughs> dress subtle. up yeah subtle real subtle i can't i can't stand it yo because yeah. it's like it, it'll- we were just talking about this earlier um me and my sis just the realness that some churches are missing yeah, you know? yeah. just be real just just be honest about stuff like i left um the church if you will when I started to go to high school because I felt like I can't be perfect. Like, mm. that's a perfect God. Mm. And then I look around the church and everybody got their Sunday hats on and mm. speaking in tongues. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't Lord blessed with that gift. Things. And, um, <laughs> and it was just... T- <laughs> it's just... <laughs> a little Espanol, poquito. As, as much as I understood God's sovereignty, who he was, I feared him. But I just felt like I was his only mistake. When I thought about my life, I felt like, you know, coming from my mother being on drugs, losing her, I was three. Traumatic stuff that was happening as in a child in my childhood. And then getting to a certain space in my teens, like, yeah, I can't do this. Yeah. Cause there's no point. What's the point? Right. Because yeah. I gotta keep getting saved. 
because that's that idea that is put out yeah. like oh you messed up get back on the altar and get saved no one's teaching you that we are going to mess up and that none of us are perfect we're just striving towards perfection and that grace is already there to cover it grace is there yeah continuously and that god doesn't leave us we leave him All we step day. away from him we fade yeah. off into the distance away from him and so I just, I feel like we have to be more honest. We need to tell the stories about how we feel like, yo, I want to end it all. We want, we should tell more stories about, shoot, how people falling off in marriages. Yeah. We should tell more people about, you know, sex and, and homosexuality and um, all these different things all that are real. These are just yeah. real things that people are dealing with and going through. And so just talk about it and stop fooling around like mm -hmm. you perfect. I think tell the truth. Like even while you're speaking, like something that came to my came to mind. Like we always talk about the, the mountaintop experience and that might be too churchy, but like you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like people talk about the mountain mountaintop experience. Mm -hmm. But what about when you're at the top of the mountain and you just wanna jump off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like God is with you there. But like you 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 ready to jump. Like mm -hmm. you living your best life. I think like if if we pay attention to like yeah. Lecrae, like he was making that very clear. He was kind of living like what we would look at as his best life and he was going through depression. Right. And, and it's yeah. like, yo, like that's a reality with God. If we told people that they would stop mm. doing it, they would be yeah. like, this is not, oh, this is not rare. Like, oh, this oh, is called an attack. Mm. Like, oh, oh, okay, got it. Like, I got, I got a purpose. So thank God for the attack versus being surprised that it's happening. So yeah. where do you think that comes from? Because, you know, when you go back to the old ways of, how people were raised how people are raised they like try to keep that secret so do you think where's that stemming from why we keep it secret yeah because like in, think, in, in the church like you guys were saying people deal with a lot I, it was funny to me that i just started to hear about a lot of the things that went on in the church that i grew up in and it it bothered me yeah it really bothered me because i was like nah that's not that's not possible i didn't know they did that like my aunt, she um, she had her, her daughter out of wedlock, but when she wanted to do the baby dedication, which I didn't even know about, they told her no. They did it downstairs, oh, and it bothered. Wow. Me. And when she told me that, it hurt her because when she even when she was telling the story, she was she was just like went back to that moment, and I, I could see the pain in her because like, and it bothered me so much because I was like why did we not know about that like it's so many like things that like shh, they blessed her baby in the basement yeah because they because they didn't want man and you see that's that stuff and that's that, that church stuff that yeah, just really that's, just that's the kind of stuff that like really bothered i look i look okay. i look up to the people but when, it, when it's a certain thing like even one day i was um i was on the sound team so i it, it, something didn't work and i stood there i was like let me make sure it's not me i'm pressing button oh, was, everything's good and I can't relip, so I'm like, it's happening up there. Whatever it is is up there. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't, like, it was a big, long way. So for me to run up there would have been, they figured it out. So then I got to, you know, I was getting a mic from the pastor, whatever. And he was like, you know, you had my stuff on mute or whatever. I was like, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You did. No. And then when it, kept, when it was like going back, I was like, you know what? I was like, okay, okay, cool. So then, because <laughs> I'm not gonna go. I saw it was going in a circle. So then I'll I, be there I, for an hour. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, cool, cool, cool. cool. Okay. So and then I walk the away. Penny would have came on. I was like, uh, no. like you want I me to text it to you? No. <laughs> you so I walk. I kind of like start going back. You know, and the, under the deacons was, came to me. It was like, you know, um, you shouldn't argue with, the, with pastor. the pastor. I was like, I said, well, he was wrong. And I, I said, I know, I know what I did. I know what was going on. I said he was wrong though. He was like, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go back and forth with him. All right, cool. And I'm like, bro, y'all need to chill out. This is not even that serious. <laughs> yeah. Like, first of all, it wasn't a serious situation. It wasn't me. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I know, and my, but I do learn. I do know that once a person has something made up in their mind, that's it. <laughs> that, that's up to the between God and them to figure that part out. I can't, I can't get in between it. But it just bothered me so I can't believe like stuff like this happened, especially where I grew up. I, I couldn't, you know, it hurts. But what do you guys think that stems from, though? It's just church <laughs> culture, I think, bro. I think, <laughs> like, I think so too. this ideology, ideology, I mean, look at look at um Job, right? Mm -hmm. How he was just, everything is getting taken away. And one of the things that they did, they pointed 
to a woman was like, what did you do? Exactly, they did. Now, he could have internalized and was like, dang, what did I do? But he didn't. Um, I think a lot of times we're so blessing focused Mm -hmm. and that like if you are not in good health, like, mm, you know, Mm -hmm. you got to have more faith, Mm -hmm. right? Boom. Mm -hmm. It's like if things aren't going that well for you, man, you got to have more faith. So a lot of times I'm getting somewhere here. A lot of times it's like, dang, things ain't really going that well. And if I talk on these things or bring these things to someone, Mm -hmm. they're going to think that I don't have enough faith that I'm not as as much of a believer as other people. Mm. Um, and then that's where you get Faith. being quiet. Yeah. You mm. wind up being on an island by yourself. I think another thing, too, is people trying to preserve the reputation of mm-hmm. God. And it's like, well, then you're clearly not in the word because God yeah. specializes in using really messed up situations to give him yeah. to give to get glory. Yeah, like, like the right. Bible ain't full of it. Like yeah. literally, like they said, they said, why is this man blind? And he said, for my glory. And it's like, whoa, like why? So wait, guys, stop hiding your crap. Like David out of wedlock David had, had baby, had baby. <laughs> and, then and, then he, the and then the baby Not died. The yeah, and then the killed baby the and husband. killed you right. Yup, killed the yeah, dad. He had, his, he like had a, the best homie killed. It's like an episode baby on Empire. Pass away. He <laughs> prays. He prays and prays and prays. The baby passes away. It's like, yo, can you please just start telling the truth, guys, so we can understand how to navigate this relationship with God, and yeah, people can stop walking right away from the struggle. Like, yeah. yo, like God is what He's saying is, I'm with you in it. I'm with you and in the uses, mess. He uses like, the least of them. Yeah, he, that's a one hundred. The least of them. I think also one major thing: people aren't reading the Bible for themselves. Yeah, say that. Nah, they're they listening the to their pastors and what their pastors are saying. Because when you ask them, well, "Yo, how was church today? Oh, it's good. What did he pre- what, what did he preach about? All oh, my pastor said, blah 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 blah. Well, well, what did you get for yourself? Yeah. yeah. And when in, when is the next time you're gonna read the word? And think about the you. fact that Sunday services are mostly evangelistic too. Right. So you're not even getting like like. You getting milk. You're not getting no meat for the most part. If you're right. only going to church on Sundays, you just getting the real, the best parts of the stories. They hitting you with the, they like that's like a movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we gonna go through a little oh. bit of this, a little bit of this. Not to we mention get to the all end. of the hype and that's it. That's yeah, going on too. like it's really yeah. that. So it's like if you're not in the word, you're not catching the details and the nuances that make God your best friend. Cause you're not go, you're not gonna make him your best friend if you know the, the top. Like nobody's your best yeah. friend because you know the top of their story. Yeah. They become your best friend because you love the nuances about them. Yeah, facts. that's facts. Imagine facts. imagine being with somebody and then you only out with them, like you only encounter them one time a week. Like that's it. We just gonna go out. We are gonna go to the movies and have a good time. Oh my god, that was so fun. We went to the movies. I can't wait to go back to the movies again. When you encounter them more than that. And start really digging in, like, oh shoot, I didn't know your attitude exactly. was like exactly. Exactly. But you got to get to know them though. Yes, exactly. You have to have a relationship. relationship. Yeah, exactly. You know, nice. so that takes time, and then you, you're going to be faced with like this is what real life is about. If you're reading the word and along that living your life, then you know, like, oh shoot, I need some more patience right? because, oh yeah, man, this this is a tough road. Or you at work and dealing with employee employees or or whatever the case is, it's like, yo, they're getting on my nerves. Yeah. But Boy. let me be patient. But how do you build patience? By being in them circumstances, but knowing how to apply biblical exactly. principles wow. to the circumstance. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, people don't understand the difference between when I was in Bible college, I learned that the difference between Wait, you preaching, went to Bible college? Yeah, I'm still yeah, in Bible college is. right now. Yeah. Oh, you so, saved. Okay. Wait, what is- <laughs> and that's one of the other reasons. Right, right, right. People don't get it for themselves. That's why they only hear what they Oh, you real saved them. if you go to Bible you college. Oh, no, 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 no. You're sanctified, matter of fact. <laughs> sanctified. People really don't Holy get Ghost it. The reason why it's because I'm sorry. <laughs> the reason why people don't get it is because they only get what they're getting from their pastor. So, and I was in Bible college before um, COVID or whatever. What I learned was it's a difference between teaching and preaching. Mm. A pastor is here to proclaim, while a teacher is here to explain. Oh, you got mm-hmm. So, okay, bars. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. She got bars. Yeah. yeah. Be quiet. So, oh, nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. The thing is, if you're always getting proclaimed to, meaning you're always just looking for your pastor to give you exactly what you need, you're going to be in the same spot, if, especially if you just go on one day a week. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to you actually getting the word from the Holy Spirit and mm. getting taught. Yeah. It's a difference. Like the teaching is the meat. 
Proclaiming is to me, this is my opinion, teaching is to me, proclaiming is size. And the meat is the most important meal. Yep. So to yep. me, I just feel like if you continue to just get proclaimed to, you continue just get, get preached to. <laughs> she know about this. Like she saying that. <laughs> Y'all and she had all the wings for a But anyway. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Wins, <laughs> <laughs> she had all the wings. But yeah, so I kind of want to switch gears. I want to get back to your writing because it's still, it's it's amazing to me. Like Thank I was you. listening. I literally like try to listen to a lot of, every time we have somebody who I don't really know like that, I try to listen to a lot of that music before the show and I just I couldn't get off of it mm -hmm. and I was watching the videos your videos so are so crazy Thank and they you. they organic thank you you know what I'm uh, saying like it's just one video I don't know the song but it's in black and white oh um wait wait don't tell me acrylic something souls acrylic yes mm. that's the one I really like that video but um just because of how you write I want to know would you write for other people or have you written for other people I That's confidential, ain't it? <laughs> 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 she was gonna say who? Yeah, I was gonna say it's confidential. Yeah, you can't say the name. You can't say the name. She was gonna say who? Because you did say you did say if you because based off of what you said, you're grace to do. <laughs> you will put the pen down if you need to. But you said that you will continue to write. But you will yeah. you you will stop music. I would again. love to do that. You and you will write for other people. I've written for people. Yeah, give people some like lyrics, bars, hooks. But yeah, I would I would love to do that. Like construct music for people. Hmm. You know, I can see you doing it. Yeah, I would love to do that. Dang, Continue man. on. I'd so be dope. Be hot. <laughs> I'd be dope. It's like, oh, that was AI. That was AI. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Like, 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 where you get that from? Mm. You ain't right there. Yeah. We know that. Oh, we know that flow. We know that flow. Right. Right. Yeah. You gonna hit him with the. Live in the mirror. Yeah. No, that ain't you. That ain't you. <laughs> when they start, start swagging like, like that, you gonna know I've ripped if that's a if that's one of your bars. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, man, she's like, been too though. No, first of all, she threw a little sazon on the track. Yo, that joint was fire. I really wish I understood what you were saying, but it was fire though. Like I don't know what you were saying, but it was fire. So I gotta go. Uh, 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 what, decode that, whatever it is. No, for real, I do. I, I need Google Translate. Translate. Google Translate. Yeah. Google Translate. Hey, hey, Google, Siri, Translate what's she saying? I don't know what she said. <laughs> what's she saying? <laughs> what's she saying? <laughs> what's she saying? Uh, I don't know. Yo, Angie <laughs> killed me today. Angie was just like, man, I'm tired. <laughs> No, for real. Because yeah. <laughs> I be chugging black coffee before I get on stage. Yeah. Oh, so it yeah, really yeah. gonna be coffee in your cup in the mornings? It really yeah. be coffee in there? What you thought oh, you had? Like, Patron in there? You know, some people be capping. Or it might not have been nothing. I'm like, I don't, I don't no, know. I be, in water. Water. I be struggling <laughs> to sip it. it. I'm for like, real? I gotta sit. Like, because I just be chatting. Yeah. I'm like, yo, take a breather, sis. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. 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 Andrew was like, you I'm like tired. Back? She was like, I need yeah. Give me a second. Yo, we was up since three to get here today. She was like, I don't fast. I slow. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> you drink black coffee. That's crazy. Yo, listen, we're going to switch gears real quick. But before we switch gears, I want I want, I want, want you to touch on, um, you spoke earlier about, you know, people being on the mountaintop, right? Yeah. And while you're on the mountaintop, in those moments when you feel like you want to jump. Sure. What kind of advice can you give somebody, whatever they're going through, in yeah. those moments? Like, what, what do you... What would you tell them, um, you know, to kind of keep them, to, you know, help them to revert and yeah. turn from that? You know what I'm saying? What kind of advice could you give somebody like that? Well, I think, one, don't consider yourself a rarity. Like, that's not a rare moment. Like, don't think, oh, I'm the only one. Like, I'm a Christian. I'm going through this. Like, no, no, no. Like, that's that's genuine. Like, Everybody. Jesus went through Gethsemane. Like, mm -hmm. Jesus cried so hard he was crying. Like, they say it was like in the crying blood. Like, mm -hmm. this is not, it's not rare yeah. for a Christian to encounter great pain. So don't feel like you're failing God. Second, like, Real talk, the, like dive into the word. Like for me, like I'll still go through like bouts and episodes. Like I was just talking about it recently on my yeah. live. I'm like, yo, I couldn't sleep. Like it was, and I think it was because the, the topic I, I addressed the next day was very heavy. But like I could not sleep. And so like I, I told them, I was like, yo, God is really giving me secrets and he's providing tools to get out of this mess. Like you could see, and I told him clear, I was like, if you pay attention to my stories at four o'clock in the morning, you'll see when a Spotify story went up that was affirmations and prayers. Mm. Because God has taught me, like, yo, tap in. And it was, uh, no, it was God's promises. And mm. I just shared the link. I, I tapped in, I hit play. And I, because now it's like, yo, God, if I'm up, then I'm not going to let the enemy take my time. Like, right, you, right. you own this. So speak into my life. Mm -hmm. So every opportunity that's, that, that feels like torture, now I'll go, all right, well, thank you. Because the enemy tried to knock on my door, but only God got the key. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let him into this moment. Mm -hmm. And he really does restore. And those moments really, I think, open up your mind. 
to his truth like when you're broken like it, it was a quote when i was young and they said when you're happy you feel the music when you're sad you understand the lyrics oh mm. wow that's, that's good. good and i think that's how god works with the word wow like, so that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, that's real good. That's fire. But everybody say that God is a gentleman. Sometimes I feel like God be violent, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, How? for real. I no, gotta hear this. How? I'm, I'm going back to what she said about being up in the middle of the night. Like God would literally wake me up, write this kid in conversation, that's and I have fire. to, and I get up and I write it, or I got a freaking verse in my head, and I'm just like. Ow. But I go back to sleep. Now that's, vi- that's violation. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you though: Is that violation or is that intimacy? I know. No, because think about. It. Let me ask you: in a, Like as a woman, right? As a, a single as a woman. So let me be clear. But let me, like, man. right? If your husband woke you up in the middle of the night to yeah. be intimate with you, you gonna think he violating or you think he? Lit? I want to sit by her. Can I sit over here? No, no, no. Stay over there. I don't want to sit by her. Oh, no, I think he's <laughs> no, 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 that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. You're right. That late that late night session that joint hit different too. You got one eye open. She not she not married, brother. I'm single. Like we gonna pray. Yeah, right. That's not. It's okay. We. You think we can't talk about it? I mean, it's like a dollar bill over here. Facts still talk is facts. Facts is facts. I'm red. I feel like I'm red. I'm too. I ain't got enough melanin for this conversation. No, but like it's just genuine, like it's just real yeah. talk. Like it's like if that's if that's the the first husband that we get before, mm-hmm. or if the husband, then it's like yo, like this is a beautiful, like God that's is facts, really dope. Man. Like facts. Because Aaliyah, Aaliyah was hoping to find her husband at 2020, but we we know. Yes, yeah, I thought when the fest came, I was gonna just walk up in there. And look good, <laughs> right. And I thought that somehow right. it was gonna be a hand. He was gonna be beaming. I just, gonna, right. yeah, I just knew. Cause I, I had it. a vision. I seen my mm. I seen my husband at the mm. event. You know mm. what I'm saying? So Wait, I'm going, you serious or like? No, I'm no, she being no I really did. I, I had. A, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, let me stop. No, I'm like, share that, sis. So let me tap into that every every worship event, every prayer night, touching the green, every everything. I'm there. I'm there. There. I promise you I'm there at every one. Oh, man. We're going to have to hit up um, Ezekiel. He doing all of Ezekiel Azan, right? Is Azan Wu. He doing all the single part. Of your, I need that. He over here oh, in Atlanta, we right? Go. We got to, he going to have to drop a pin. We're going to pull up oh, to yeah. singles event. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, he Don't be doing Don't look at me like that because I'm going. Nah, we what? out. You no, crazy? Yeah. yeah. We outside. Like, sh- we outside. Outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah, that's outside. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. That's what we outside. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. <laughs> all right. So listen, listen, listen. We want to keep y'all much longer. But we do got a little surprise for y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, for the shoot. both of y'all. This? Uh, um, hit the switch, DJ. Hit the switch. Wow. Really? I mean, you got to hit the switch, right? It's way over there. So you're not going to hit the switch? This is going to be hilarious. Going while, while, I'm it while, while I'm setting it up. Y'all about to eject through the... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. about to... <laughs> we about to <laughs> Sorry for that. What? You, you good. Stay right there. So we got a, we got a little segment oh, that we like to do on the show. Right? You know, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Um, And this is where it gets a little fun. They right, so, I'm, I'm, asking, so, I'm like, I'm half up. So, like, I'm like, <laughs> we told you, know you we introverts. So yeah. no, nobody's fine. coming oh, yeah. in here. No, that's that's fine. Right. Right. Fly and we from New York. And we from New York. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we're not from the best ready. neighborhoods in the world. Like, yeah. Your face, your face, your face. Hey, y'all look like she got the two on her. Like, yeah, she got one. I don't know what y'all got on. Never know. Her hands on the table the whole interview. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yo, my G, what kind of what kind of surprise you got, man? <laughs> All right, so we got a segment that we like to do, right? Uh, Angie, we didn't want to do it last time with you over Zoom. We was going to wait to yeah. get here. Facts. Um, but the okay. name of this segment is called Explain That Post, right? Oh. So <laughs> what we do. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like you see, I told you it was going to be a fun one. Good. I'll put the tongue in your way. She put it back on the table. Get ready to explain that post. That's all I got to say. She put it back in her sock holster. Deep. 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 Deep.
Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all know, y'all know I'm a tech geek. I get just couple couple buttons. Everything shut down. Right, fun. So we gonna uh, uh, let's, 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 let's throw it back real quick. Let's, 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 let's throw it back real quick. Let's, let's, let's start with this one. See, see how far see how far back we go. Oh man, yo! Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, we that's out so, here. That's our oh, Easter, Easter Sunday. Oh, Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Sunday. Easter Sunday. The only day you went to church. East side. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, go no, ahead. No, no. She was at church Hold all on, the right. time. You see them stockings? She I went off. Yeah, it went like <laughs> all the time. We, as a matter of fact, at this point. It's probably the break in between church. Oh, oh wow. right. but this Before is my service? brother, At five my, o'clock, and my sister. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh. This is my brother and my sister. East side of Buffalo. This is the house we grew up in. We must be coming out the house to go to, to go church, to church. Yeah. on Easter Sunday. I got the young patent leather shoes. You, you feel that? me? Talk your I got talk. the I got the patent yeah, leather swag, purse. Right. You feel me? Talk your I got talk. the. The jacket from like probably like JC Penny. Or cookies, okay. or cookies, me? cookies, cookies. No, nah, bro. don't know Remember what that cookies? is back then. Crazy. I got my hair in the, I got my hair in the cornrows with the oh beads. Yeah, no, in our holding? faces, the back. I got the toolie in the back. Oh. I got the toolie in the back. Nah, you don't see that facial yeah, 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 expression. Yeah. She not playing no yeah, yeah. games. She not playing no games. Uh, we all wasn't playing you know games. Nah. You, see us? you know what's funny? Yeah, Aaliyah got them same beads in her hair right now. See? Wow. Legacy. And, Legacy. and it's still fire. That's true. I'm be do? trying to come at my sis now. It's cause cool. I told I you what I got. I told you they do get this. On, get on. <laughs> get on. Wow. All right. All right. Get on, all right. Get on, all right. Yeah. That's. Yep. All right. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Oh stop peeking. Y'all stop peeking. Stop peeking. Stop peeking. Y'all stop peeking. Why are we? It's there. Who got it on the TV? Right here. All right. What's going on here? Who's this? Aww. Aww. That's crazy. I don't even know her name. So I went on a mission trip to Mexico. And that was actually the first time that um, in that trip, God told me, or they used, one of the preachers spoke to me. He said, you're going to be used to minister to nations. Wow. And it's God going to take you to travel under the stars. He said that. And then the next day we went here and we wow. met these kids. And that was the first time on a mission trip. This is crazy. I can't believe you pulled it up. My heart is like beating. I was praying for I a woman. It's beating. And she, like, it's, it's beating like, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, it gets worse. Trust no, me. like there was a, no, but like, let me tell you, let me tell you something you know for real. Um, there was a woman there. She didn't. She spoke like uh, it they, like tribal. Like mm. they clicked to speak, mm, okay. and she we prayed together, and literally it felt like a bubble came over both of us. Oh, and wow. I was speaking in Spanish, and she was speaking what she was speaking, and we was both understanding each other. Oh wow! wow. And she accepted oh, Jesus. She had tears oh, in her wow. eyes. I felt like you ever been to a barbecue and you see the heat over yeah. that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were in. Wow. Dang. And we were like understanding spirit, each other. Real, Yo, that's crazy. That's that's that sound like amazing. that sound how Ooh. that sound like how real speaking in tongues. No, so yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes, yes, languages. Yo, it's supposed uh, to be like that. Shanda Ram Kumbaram. Yeah, yeah. Honda Mazda Kia. Shut about a Honda. Right. Rambo Saga la Bazooka. All right, let's chat. Then we churchy. We 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 know all them. We not we not Bible school saved though, but we churchy. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go over here, y'all. Bam, same crib? No. It's a different crib. This is. It's the um, shoes for me. Hair looks amazing. Who, right. Who, who, hair looks crazy. Those, my, those, yo, I run them joints down. I, those are my favorite <laughs> joints. I ain't want to give them up. I, st- I still might have them up wow. in my attic. This, like this is my son. house. Ask a son. This is my house. My, co- oh. my um, he, he, porch look different now. We got the porch. Oh, that's same house. right now. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, cool. Wow. We own this. Um, and I'm on my sit on the porch. Just, just took my vibing. braids out. Who took the picture? Just vibing. Isaac might have took this picture. Isaac, Either him you took or my picture? husband. Oh, you said you had just took your braids out? Yep. Yeah, her. That's why that hair look right. Yeah, look dope. Oh, uh, uh, we can hear you in the mic too. You on the mic, brother? Oh yeah, here's his mic though. He said that's old. All right, cool. Hey, y'all, you remember this event? What was this at? Yep. That joint was in Lockport. Um, I did an event. Um, oh, we coming out Angie Road next. Look at Angie's like, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. No. This joint was Ooh. fun. Isaac was there. This is the one where I had all the baggage and stuff on me. Oh, yeah. So it's, uh, usually when I do a performance, I'm trying to like be metaphorical in everything that I do. Yeah. And so I started in the audience. I had baggage all on me. I looked like a homeless person. But I was trying to see if the church was going to be Love open mm-hmm. yeah. and and like 
see who was going to do what. So people came by me and were like, you all good? You okay? Yeah. They didn't know it was me. Wow. Because I was really like, That's I had bags up, with me. I had like my hoodie on and I was just real rugged looking. And so they checked on me a couple times. And then when my set came up, I got up and I talked about baggage. Oh, and wow. as I got to the front, I didn't have any more baggage. And I started talking about how God oh, wow. moves that baggage. Yo, that, that is crazy. crazy. Bro, that, that is bro? crazy. I'm surprised, I'm surprised you don't have the um, joint with the stuff with on the stuff me. On. I was looking I crazy. It. I didn't see it. Oh, oh, she deleted that one off. I didn't see it. Look at <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe I do. All right, cool. Um, Shanae, did you hear? <gasps> Yo, that's my guy oh, sister. Who's, Yo, I, I you couldn't tell who this was. I was like, oh my is, God. Fire. this is Angie? My yeah, guy sister did my hair. Head. Yeah, my guy sister. You know what's crazy? I did a photo shoot with <laughs> the saga after this. I was not feeling it. I was like, yo, my, oh my like my baby this. hairs ain't out. But that was oh my, my god, god sister. She live in BK. She, she did your hair? Yeah. Okay, that's love for real. Uh-huh. She's a beast. Yeah, she's that's beastie. Love. All right, cool. That's Bam! You want to tell me okay? Is that all I <laughs> <that's cool. laughs> oh you was saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, like that. that's the first studio I ever worked with, just dry rocking in Brooklyn. And we was I was in college. That's like literally I rushed over to record a verse for something. And I had like a college sandwich and all that. Like, you know the subs that they give you? In, you know heroes? what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking about. They don't know the heroes. They don't know the yeah. heroes. They don't know the heroes. That was, that was when I first started everything. They don't know the heroes. They don't know the heroes. All right, let me, uh, wow. let, me, let me see where we going to go next. Where we going to go next? Where we going to go next, DJ? Dang, that's going crazy. Next? All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's go. Yo, yo, Who's this yo. young lady next to you? Uh, yeah, that's my mom. Oh, she, mama. She, yeah. um, this is the woman who adopted me, my sister, and my brother. When we were seven, she was my foster mom before that. Mm -hmm. She will be 90 next year. Oh, wow. Still That's moving up. and shaking. Yes. I, spent every, I spent every Monday with her to the best of mm -hmm. my ability. I spent every Monday with her. And this is an event I brought her in as a guest. I got a, like an award for... You got a Something. lot of awards. Something. Nah, she be racking them God up. No, good. like she got a lot of awards. She rack them up. God is good. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Yo, AI, your joint was kind of hard to sift through. Yo, I'm like, see how yeah, they be she doing. She got all good. the perfect pictures. Perfect. You know what I'm saying with the filters and joint. I was like, who we gonna get? All right, cool. So let me skip over there. Right so let me skip over. Are we gonna go to Angie? Yeah, we gonna go to Angie. We gonna go to Angie. Angie, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't even know. The caption oh, was saying he was a little bit off beat. He was trying to dance and do something. <laughs> You remember this event? <laughs> I don't even remember that. You don't remember this one? Nah. Ah, I don't know. She'll remember this one. She'll remember this one. All right, cool. Bam. Oh, my What's God. What's up with this one? You look so young. What's up with this baby. one, man? Look at the baby face. Uh, that's the same time as the, you know, the sweat, the socks picture with the milk and cookies. But okay, that's the okay. thing. So that's the thing that made me, like, basically have a career, like, low-key, like, wait though. I was just in there like giving water. Like I think Derek Miner was rapping for Wado Cannon, and I was just like, "Oh yeah, I want water, or whatever." And then when they would go do their set, like, I was sitting on the floor and I was just in it. Like I was just like, <laughs> so yeah. then they finished the whole day, and Wado's like, "Like you do something? Like why you like you so into this music?" He was like, "You you rap or something?" I was like, "Yeah," and I'm like shaking. He's like, "All right, so let's go," and I'm like, "Wow." All right, and then I rap for like I think like twelve minutes or something crazy. Like we just, he, he just started throwing words at me, and we just I was like I don't oh. know what to say. Hey, like let's go. Nice with it like that? Yeah, it's I been think a we minute. Pull up a beat, and, uh, bro, uh, time. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, and I, I've been up, I've been up, I've been up like probably like twenty hours. I mean yeah, we could though, because if my heart start beating, I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there. But that's what oh, that's shit. what happened that day. And then so yeah, literally I didn't have no music. We could do it. I I had no music, and um. What you got, DJ? Yeah, we started getting book, booking oh, shows, I and I was performing that. over Your like. It looks great. Thank you. That I used to perform crazy. over like regular regular beats for like mad shows. All right, now how <laughs> how how did this come about? Because this is probably oh, that's my few. this yeah. is my favorite show to yeah. listen to radio show Breakfast oh, yeah. Club. How'd you get on Breakfast? Well, so we what's going on here? Yeah, we had done a movie um called Canal Street Movie. Okay. And so one of the scenes we were interviewed by Charlemagne. For real? Yeah, so that really that was that was what happened. Like they was just like, "Oh, can you be in this movie?" And I was like, "Well, who I'm gonna play?" And they were like, "You." And I was like, "Ryan Lamar." Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. that's how we met. That's when we started kicking it. How was that? That was crazy. I was really nervous. Um, but that was a dope experience. That's the first time I, I like I think chilled with you. We actually went back to the studio and made a record. It just never came out. But um, yeah, that's that season. 
Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that was. Crazy. That was you ain't dropped the record, man. I might, I might have to drop the demo. All right, what you say? I might have to leave that demo a little bit. You should. I'm gonna get in trouble then. I can't say that. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I was waiting for that one. That's the one I was waiting on. It's the ear for me. Yo, look at that. Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. If this person was walking down the street, I wouldn't know who who this person is. <laughs> Sorry to this girl. Sorry to this girl. Sorry to this girl. But it looked like she she doing good things. <laughs> it looks like she's doing good things. Was she doing homeless kid? Um, no. I mean, I'm not the one to judge, but. Nah, I mean, she had a curling take, iron. Take, like she, in sure, she did I do that? Food. She definitely did that. Yeah, she had a uh, mess out of them curls. Wow, <laughs> wow. She, she, didn't, let, she didn't let the flat iron go. Man, wow. I hate that we gotta like have these. Wow. Pa- I got pictures. Yeah, I got way worse than that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> oh lord. I, honestly, I think that. Like on this particular <laughs> day, right I now. was supposed to. Just the way she I, I didn't have enough time <laughs> to separate the curls before I was oh, supposed to get up there. So I'm in the back, and they there. say, "Come on <laughs> to the stage." I'm like, "Oh no!" Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Scrap the scalp real quick. I should have did it while I was oh, on stage. No. I didn't get a chance. Just, just pull them off. Just <laughs> the I you like when that today. Was like. The hair was the hair just got <laughs> done. It, looked, it was gonna be so great. They it, said, "All right, AI, have, I can tell. Like, it's tight." No, they were like, "All right, AI, come to the stage." I'm like, "Hold on." But I, <laughs> I probably got ready. a curler on the other side. No. She's not ready. Oh, no. No, I had an experience today like that. I just can't share it. But like, I'll all tell right, you off. Cool. We, we, we gonna wrap it up. We got, <laughs> we got a couple funny. more, so and then we gonna wrap it up. Who's this young man? <clears throat> That's Who's my puppy. Li- oh my goodness. That's Who's crazy. Yo, he look older there than he do now. For real? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's my puppy Lindo. That's my dad. Shout oh. out to puppy Lindo. Yeah. Yo. So I'm a baby of 10. That explains like yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. remember that. My dad is, um my my older sister's 55. So my dad, what? yeah, my dad is 75. Wow. And he, he had me late in the game. He wasn't playing. And he's still rolling with me. Yeah. That's my puppy. Man, yeah. oh, man, he, he was yeah. playing. Nah, he started Yo, all the way up. What's going on here? I, I wanted to know. This is this look flat. Yeah, that do fire. Flat. <sighs> so that's actually the video for infatuation, and we had some like difficulties, but that's the same set that TLC used for Waterfall. Oh, oh for real? And yeah. So we had the, the unfortunate. The sad part is it had to drop on Instagram because we had some struggles. So like that, that was a real big budget video and. Yeah, it's, a, mm. it's, it's, on, it's, on, it's on Instagram. Oh man, that's a combo for offline. But that joint, that, that joint went crazy. Oh, yeah, we gonna, we gonna hold that. One. It was fun though. It was fun. All right, last experience. but not least, yeah. Yeah. the squad. Everybody, squad. Oh, like, baby. That's everybody. I'm gonna tell you what. The whole they squad. all was on my nerves that day. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Yep, I said it. All Ooh. of y'all. Let me tell you <laughs> all what. Of y'all. Happened. This, so this set so Ryan Lamar was doing video shoots for us for the, the project we got coming and so we're on this set and it's like rain yeah rain coming down and I had to sit on this um barrel uh-huh. this blue barrel so I'm sitting on the barrel I'm like cool and I'm doing my verse all of a sudden the blue barrel fell it's, fell like it's got breaks. all this water on it now I got a big old watermark on the, the boot sweat. On your butt. <laughs> oh my Looking god. Looking like I used the bathroom. Oh snap. The and barrel did, on the side right and, there. And did they let me oh, hear the, the end right of it? there. Your son just parted out the barrel right there. The blue one right there. It's, it's in the, yep, right there. Right I was sitting on it. Right yo, the, the video's cut. gonna look dope. But yo, they wouldn't let Hey, you look great, sis. I thought that was a stop. throwback. You look, your, your skin flawless. Yeah, all that's that. real. Yeah, that's 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 that since you getting that's younger. I was. That's them 2 a.m. marriage that's sessions. Awesome. That's that early morning. I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? That's it. He, that's what he do. He hey, like I was on my best she, behavior today. I was on my best behavior. I was definitely on my best behavior. Okay, well, he definitely was. I definitely was on my There's best behavior. a couple of things that I didn't hear come out of his mouth. Yet. A bunch. <laughs> a bunch. A bunch. Listen, that was fun. Look at ladies, you were right. That's fun. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, 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 let everybody know, what's, you know what y'all got Not coming ready. out next. Let us know the socials. All that great stuff, man. We're going to get y'all up out of here, man. Get y'all... Get y'all rolling, you know what I'm saying? Well, whoop. So, all right, we, me and me and AI and I got a record coming out. Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, it's the first time y'all talking about it. 
Yeah. Yeah. The it first is. Thing. Yeah. Ooh, you heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You heard it here. What's so it's up? actually it's called no, it, it's a God over money mix. So we got a couple uh, of a G O M on there. Stop. Yeah, we did something real fun. Yeah, we did something yeah. Fun. Y'all can shoot that to us. For sure. Sure. No, for real though. Stop playing. You heard she it. went in though. I, I like the exclusives. I've been trying to get. Oh, we can do it on our humble opinions. Ooh. Yeah, we do. We, yeah, we, we do got that. another it's segment. Fine. It's our music review segment called My Humble Opinion. Oh, dope. Ooh. We got some people like that's it. coming for our next. Oh, that's funny. We keep it way too real. Actually, <laughs> second <laughs> like we keep it yeah. way, way I'm too like, real. Yeah, everybody. People I'm be like, mad. People be mad, yo. we should do a song. Nah, just playing. We we gotta go. So. I mean, people, I'm people's feelings be like tissue paper. That's a fact. Man, That's a fact. Just gotta do better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they be mm-hmm. mad. They be I mad. I was trash mm-hmm. in the beginning. They be mad time. when I be telling them like, "Yo, I son, was trying to is- rap too fast." Every- <laughs> somebody told me. And Everybody I doing that. Oh, that's dope. And yeah. I worked on yeah. it. Yeah. Take that in. That's mm-hmm. crazy, yo. And, yeah. I, and I thought I'd be tripping. <laughs> nah. Like I, I well, anyway, we go we gonna send y'all so y'all can listen. Because we right, we be straight gully like. I just want to know what y'all think for real. Yeah, we gonna we gonna talk about that off here. Talk about that off here. All right, so um, y'all got the new song coming out. What else y'all got? That's oh. it for right now. Y'all on tour? Y'all doing y'all thing? Um, <laughs> September talk. We gonna third. Play. I got, there's a project that I'm part of. Derek Minor did a like a sync licensing project. Yeah. Um, that joint gonna be dope. Uh, that drops September third. Um, pre-orders on now. If you go to the link in my bio, you can get it. Um, so I got a song on there. Derek Minor and R Swift. That joint, that joint gonna be nice. Called triple Swift double. Tonight. Swift the homie. Yeah. I know that's the homie. Swift man. the homie for real, man. Bro, Swift. Yeah. When I first started doing radio, when I first got on GH Street, Swift drove an hour and probably like ten minutes to my house. He a real dude. Did it, did yeah, an he's amazing. And from that day, it was like, yo, whatever, like. That guy, right? That was yeah, that was real. my first like big name, like mm-hmm. big name yeah. artist that mm-hmm. came to the crib, like mm-hmm. came to the crib, mm-hmm. an hour or something away. You know, and everybody up. was like, "Oh, you too far." He pulled up, and I was like, yeah. I was, "Swift I was, is a major blessing." I will always have love and respect for him. Always. He always wants the best from you too. That's always, that's what man. I peep. Like he always, always. gonna push, it, pull, 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 pull out the man. best in you. Shout out to R Swift, y'all. So socials, let him know, let him know, let him know. Socials. A- AI the anomaly. Ow. On, every, on everything. <laughs> why? We gotta get that. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> uh, yeah. Angie Rose music with a K. Angie Rose M U S I K. Awesome, 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 ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Yo. Yeah, this was cool. Oh, was y'all enjoyed yourselves. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It was you know, nice. Side falling, you know the stuff. Nah, it's good. <laughs> uh, them wings, them wings made we up. We forgot about it. all that. Right. We didn't. Yeah, it was, it was didn't even need to be discussed right. anymore. My fault, yeah. man. You know, I just, you know, I had fun. I appreciate y'all pulling this is up dope, on us, man. For real. Yeah, this is awesome. This is felt You know, that was on my best behavior tonight because I didn't want to. Thank you. You know, oh, that was your best behavior. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Nah, you just don't know. I had to reel him back in sometimes because I know how people. Oh, they really. Don't know. <laughs> people feel like you said. People feelings are like some tissue paper. They, but then the, the thing is, like, I, I don't be caring. So you would tell, like, if I came out with a trash record, you I would tell me. Oh yeah, it's That's what's like to no, her no, no. face. No, no, no. I was two right ways to tell. I, how about this? I'll let them talk. He's the Charlemagne of the group. I'm gonna say that. That's what's up. I'll let them talk. I tell you, he's like, would you put that in your mix? That's what's up. I'm telling people the truth. I'm t- and, no, and, and, and are you is, doing it gracefully? No, that's now, the thing. That's now, the thing. Now, now that's, he that's is. what I'm saying. Now he, now, now God, he that's gotten a whole lot so, better. So let me, let me tell you. God, God had. I had a talk with God, right? You did. What he say? And God really, um, he told me that he wasn't mad at what I was doing. He was just like your, your, your brute honesty without compassion following it up is brutality. Yeah. Mm. And it could really hurt someone's like it he could said it really, just like that. Just like that. He was like, like so he was just like, yo, like you can you no, can No you gotta put the you gotta put the um the, the voice on it. I mean do it again. You want me to do God's voice? Yeah. <laughs> you got this? That's it's a major son. task. You want that still soft voice? My son. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he'd be like, yo, bro. No, nah, he was just talking shit. He was like, yo, you <laughs> just he was just like, yo, you gotta you gotta Foster just voice. you gotta follow it up with some sort of like, mm-hmm. you know, uh compassion. Not f- like That's really good. Like follow it up with compassion. Yeah. Cause if you just being brutally honest, like yeah. you, you can crush someone's spirit yeah. Yeah. with that. Like you a true critique. Because yeah. critiques are meant to help, not to harm. Critiques so, come with Yo, this, but here's what you can do. Yeah, exactly, and that's yeah. that's the part that I was failing to do, yeah. which was the here's what you can do part. You see what I'm saying? So and he and he brought me back to the woman at the well. He was like, yo, he like he pretty much called her a hoe. 
but then he gave a living water. I got a question. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what so is- it was just like, all right, cool. So I had to, I had to learn that. Now that I've learned it, mm-hmm. um, oh, I'm on these people next, yo. I got a question. <laughs> I'm on so, they next. What if it's nothing they can do? Then they just need to stop, like I told knowledge. Be your best self someplace Dang, else. Yeah, you name drop. Remember stop this time dropping. so you can edit this out. I got time for this. But yo, uh, there's so many other things to be able to do. And I feel like sometimes when I, I hear say certain that people, all the time. it's like, yo, you, you're spending your time. And I understand people have a desire. You, were, you know what I'm saying? You're a great greeter. Yeah. Okay? When you oh. said hello to me at the door, I felt it. Oh, you're like, going in. See, I, I'm I for real. You, like, like, it's crazy. it's some stuff that people are really good. Like, <laughs> no. yo, you really good at, at, you may be real good at writing. Like, what you're writing is really good. But you might not have the rhythmical balance in order to really execute the way that you would want to see. And then what mm-hmm. What I don't, what I, I'm hurt and heavy hearted about is you watch people constantly pour money into something that it's going to be hard for it to take off because you just don't have the skill yeah. that's necessary. But you could be a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Like just be your best self someplace else in other other spaces yeah. it's okay and when mm-hmm. i say that they be mad at me everybody in atlanta uh, mad at me but i mean i, I get cool, that though. too yeah don't nobody want to imagine you. somebody telling you you're not good at something that they believe that they are and they've been working so hard to do but somebody gotta tell you and then you they have to they have to hear from themselves somebody gotta tell you right you know, just you know like you said somebody, somebody, somebody had to tell you about your music right yeah somebody probably had to guide you in the direction you needed to be no, with she your came music. here dope i, I believe oh. that <laughs> it's that size on. It's the size on. It's the size on. <laughs> you know what makes me mad though? When we they wrap say, up after this, brother. When they say, God told me to do it. Yo. Oh, yeah, there he was. This dude yeah, said, God yeah, told him. Yeah, I'm going to let you yeah. listen to one of his songs. How about that? Nah, you uh, you are I'm wild. Dead no, yeah. Gonna, I'm dead yeah. serious. Let, matter of fact, all right, guys, it's been real. <laughs> I tell you, I'm about bro, to pull that's, that's the thing, real though. Quick. That's the thing. Like, I, I never, God didn't tell me to rap. Yeah. Mm. God didn't tell me to work with young people. It's just a passion that I have, mm-hmm. and I do all that I can within the passion that I have. God ain't give me no audible voice or internal voice like, young lady, I want you to rap. I want <laughs> you to rap. Right. <laughs> I want you to rap and take, it over, ter- take care of those kids mm. yeah. out here in these streets. Mm. No, he just told us to money. preach the gospel. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's it. it. All right, y'all, you're going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. Angie Rose, AI the Anomaly, yo. I appreciate y'all pulling Thanks. up today, this man. This, this, God, this man. meant a lot to this meant yeah. a lot to us, for real. Nah, this I'm, was I'm, awesome. I'm I super grateful. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro, it's all good. It's all good. So listen, man. want to know more. Huh? huh? No, go ahead. We got to wrap. No, we got to know go. why you thought it was going to go left after we done. Oh, that's okay. We're going to do that, yo. So listen, man, make sure everybody out there on the Fresh Leftover squad, Fresh Leftover family, uh, make sure y'all go on and y'all tune in and tap in with Angie Rose and AI the Anomaly, man. Make sure y'all show them that fresh leftovers love. Yo, GH3, we love y'all, man. We holla at y'all next week. Peace. Peace.